Zeri or Zeri, yeah. yes. we give you good news of Pasan, yep. whose name is John. Yep. A name we have never given before. Okay, what does that mean? We give you a good news of Pasan, whose name is John. Yep. A name we never given before. What does that mean? It's that a name we never given before to anyone. Thank you. Zakaria. Luke 1, 60, right? Same exact situation. It says here, um, so, uh, so let me start 59, right? And on the eighth day, they came um, to circumcise the child. Zachariah has, has been born, yeah? Yep. And they would have called him Zachariah after his father, yep. speaking about Yahya, yep. yeah? So apparently, according to this, they were going to call him Zachariah as well, like, like, like a junior, yep. right? Now, but his mother answered, no, he shall be called John. And they said to her, none of your relatives is called by this name. And they made signs to the father, inquiring what he wanted the child to be called. Yeah. So, the, the Bible says none of the relatives of Zechariah or his wife have been called John. The Quran says no one has ever been called John. Right? Now, here's my question. Wait, number seven. Is it? Yes. Oh, Zechariah. We give you good news of a boy, of a son whose name is Yahya. Okay, Yahya John. Yes. Yes. So, the Quran is saying that nobody has ever been called Yahya before. The Bible is saying that no one in their family has been called Yahya before. All right. According to in English language, what John mean? Because uh, we have a meaning for this one name. That's why. Regardless, his name wasn't Yahya. Because it would have been... you know what Yahya means? It would have been Yaconan. Because he is Jewish, not Arabic. So his actual name would not have been Yahya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Okay, Yahya in Arabic is mean alive or living. Was he, was he Arabic? No. Was his actual name Ar uh, Yahya yeah, or, or Yaconan? No, but you call God. You don't call him Yahweh. Why do you call him God? So the name changed in the language. Translation, right? All and the name changed. The, the name doesn't change it's because his name stays the same. What's happening here is a transliteration. There are some okay. letters that don't exist in certain languages. Yeah. So you have, you have to change them. For example, yes, I agree, yeah. one of, of the apostles, his uh, Jewish name is Cephas. Yeah. Right? But then when it means rock. Yeah. When you translate it or transliterate it into Greek, it becomes Petros. Because in the Greek language doesn't have this certain Yes. Language. And then in English it's, it's Peter. The same like Jesus. Okay, perfect. Yes, sure. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Now, it says no one has ever been called this name before. Is that true? I think um, I have another sense on it, but I think according to the Quran, it said no one has been given no 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 name has been given to before that's been alive, a living. Because Yahya has been to be alive. But so don't, be alive together. Yahya, but don't be forget alive. his so name. No one gonna be alive like that him. wouldn't be his name. His actual name would be Yakonan. Because he's Jewish from the first century, yeah. not Arabic. Okay? Do you understand what, what I'm saying? Yeah. Perfect. Now, my next question. When was he born? What, what year? I'm not sure. Okay, was he born in the 400s? I'm not sure. I cannot tell you exactly. I don't want to make mistakes. Okay, fine. I know that he was fine. at the time of... of, of Jesus. Jesus. Perfect. First century. first century, yeah? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Now, if the Quran is right, how do you explain this guy? His name is John Hyrcanus, yep. and he was the high priest of Jerusalem in the year 164 BC. Before. Before Christ. Yep. So if the Quran is correct, why doesn't Allah know about this guy? Why God doesn't know about this guy? Yes. You mean God is talking here about the same one? No, 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 no. no. God is saying we have never given this name to anybody before. This guy is called John too. Okay, but as I said, here he said Yahya. Give me a name called Yahya, not John. But his actual name would not have been Yahya. It would have been Yakonan because he is... Uh, Jewish, not Arabic. Okay, what Yaconan man means? Just give me the meaning. I think, uh, I, I, I don't know what's off the top of my head, but I'll, I'll look it up. Is it, God something? Let me get that for you. Something like that. Yeah, I, I think uh, in the Quran, God implying 
that no one will be uh, alive, living like him. The name John. Yeah, yes. Uh, God is gracious. Uh, Yakonan. God is gracious. That, that's, that's John in, in, uh, in Hebrew. Yakonan. Yeah, uh, uh, Yohanan, uh, uh, yeah. So God is gracious. Yeah, it's different. So in okay. Arabic, yeah, yes, mean living, you alive. So, you will be alive. Because his name is not Arabic, because he's not Arabic, because he is Jewish, it would have been, it would have been uh, uh, Yohanan. So therefore, that would mean that when Allah says no one has ever had this name before, and then the Bible says no one in your lineage has ever had, had this name before, the Bible is correct, given in historically in this that there was a, someone before called, called John. So, if you're saying that you're going to put the Quran above logic, it doesn't deserve to be there. Uh, I cannot, as I said, this you, is the only. Uh, you told me to give you that. one. You said one mistake. I showed it to you. I don't think it's still it's still, it's still. Okay. As so, I said, the word Yahya in Arabic means no one gonna be like him alive. And he's mentioned in Arabic. You give me a name now, John, in English. In English, you give me a name. I gave anyway. you the Hebrew. Okay. As so well. Hebrew means he said the gracious. In Arabic, God said in the Quran, he is no one gonna be alive. Okay. A living. And la so it has a different. But then ultimately, his name, his actual name that he was known by, would not have been Yahya because he's in Arabic. Well, do you know what Yahya means in Arabic? It doesn't matter what it means. Well, no, 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 I don't. But it doesn't matter what it means because he's using the Arabic. Now we know here, Johanna means the gracious. G uh, God is gracious. Yes. Cool. Go to the dictionary now. Uh, Google and put what Yahya means in Arabic. You're gonna see have 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 the same uh, meaning. If it has the same meaning, then. You, surely you can include those other people who were called John beforehand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Same, yeah. Name, yeah. same name. Yep. Now, if you see that Yahya yeah, mean gracious, then I can agree with you. But yeah, yeah, I know mean uh, something to do with the uh, light, light, light. Being, well, it it says it's the same thing apparently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, well, it says two things. It says uh, no one lives and is not dead. Yeah, apparently. That's, that's the, uh, the, the right one. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't. Li he doesn't that, die. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a morbid name. No one lives and is not dead. <laughs> that's a weird name. Hayat. What hayat in Arabic? You know. What I have no idea what that means. Hayat means life. Live. Life. Hayat. Hayat means you are alive. No so one lives that is not dead. I mean. That, 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 you need to ask someone Arabic and Arabic one. The word Yahya okay. come originally from Hay. Hay. Okay. Okay. God. We say God is the Hay al Qayyum. He's the living. Hay. So Yahya come from Hay. So something for uh, alive. So I mean, close to it. Yes. this is like me. Mean, this is like me saying nobody is happy that isn't sad. <laughs> like, yeah, like it's, no, 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 wait, wait. Meaningful Islamic baby. Yeah, yeah. You see it here, Quranic name. Yes. What does it mean? Doesn't. Originally Aramic, Johanna. Gracious. Yeah, yeah, but no, 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 no that, that, that's Yoh Yoh Yohanna, right? What gracious mean in English? Huh? What gracious name in English? Uh, God is like, is like merciful. He, okay. he he gives like pity on, onto people. Very good. Yeah, yeah, and the Quran is mean different. Uh, okay, but then again, in in in, uh, in, in numbers, right? The, the point one. The Quran says nobody has ever had this name before. Okay, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Yeah? His name is Yahya or John? In uh, English. It, no, 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 no. He's, he's Hebrew because he's from the same place as Jesus. So he's not Arabic. Right? So, point two. His name, historically, would not have been uh, Yahya because he is not Arabic. It would have been Yakonan. Right? Meaning God is gracious. Point number three. The Quran says that nobody has ever had the name, but the Bible says that no one's ever had the name in his lineage. And point number four, we can identify somebody who was the high priest of Jerusalem yeah. in the second century BC, who was born in 164 BC to be precise, who was also called Yakonan. So the Quran is wrong. No worries. Okay, it, it, so it's, it's a Al Mariam Ayah seven and Luke uh, verse uh, what, Luke chapter one verse fifty nine to sixty three. If you want to have a comparison, but the Quran is wrong there, so it doesn't deserve to be above logic. It should be below. So ultimately, if the Quran is below logic, then there should be no problem with you saying that Jesus is God by virtue of the fact that Jesus is our Rahim who is God, who comes from God in the form of a man. Any Subhana, other? Subhanallah. Any other Can you go to the verse again? Sure thing. Which one? Sure. Mary 7. He but, said, okay. say in English. You read it in English already? Yeah, but I have it in Arabic, so I need to understand it in Arabic. So. All right. Okay. Yeah.
Really, really. Because he said his name is <laughs> a living, living. Oh, Zachariah, indeed, we give you good news on the titans of a boy whose name will be John. Will be John, and we have not assigned this, to any before his name. name. His name. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the Quran said it. Do not take the Christians and Jews as allies. They are allies of each other. So the Quran can be wrong, right? No worries. <laughs> Okay, we well, did. We give you a good tidying of a boy whose his name will be alive, and we have never assigned this to any one name before that he's going to be alive or living. But then, uh, of course, I mean, he's, he will not ever die. But he died. He's literally dead. Yeah, yes, I mean, he's alive. Somehow. He's dead. <laughs> Even in your hadith, he's in the second heaven with uh, with um, Isa. He's dead. He's not alive today. Yeah, yes, I mean. Something Lou is living. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Basically, that's my point. So I don't know. Go home and look at the video again. I'll do it this time. Yeah, no worries. Can I, uh, do you mind if I give you a Gospel of Luke so you can have a look at it? Which one? I've got one there spare for you, a Gospel of Luke. Perfect. You might as well have a look at it, mate. Look, 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 look at this. Look at this. We're going to look. Perfect. <laughs> so. Here you go. <laughs> he read, read my entire mind. Sorry, I'm, I'm, just, uh, I'm not taking it away from you. Uh, yeah. So literally, right here. Start from right there. And, and go and go uh, here. So page four and page five. Just start right there, 59, and then go over there to 63. Yeah. Okay. Again, just small, quick question, uh, example. What Injil mean in, in English? It it's doesn't new, mean anything in it's English. It's Aramic. It's an Aramic. Aramic yeah. it, it's it's taken from Greek yeah. because of a similarity to the Syriac equivalent of the word. And what does it mean? Good news. So, yeah. So, so the Greek is a Uangelion. And it, it, yes. Yeah, it just means good news, yeah. Okay. Now, the same word in Arabic has different meaning. In Arabic, Najel is mean the son of God, uh, the son of the president, for example. Anjala is means something brought down that will share the same nature. So, this word has a meaning in Arabic and also it has a different name in, in Arabic. But then, how do so you. How that's do you, why, because the Quran, he here, put the, the reason he put the Here's the problem, right? How do you know that those two words are not influenced? by the both bring language. huh it, it is influenced by both languages no 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 how do you know it's not influenced when they brought in the term in jail into the arabic because the term didn't exist in, in 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 that way until the quran came so how do you know that those two words don't derive from the in jail being brought into the language yeah. how, how do i know yeah how do you know that those two words for brought down an important son existed before the word in jail was brought into Arabic. That's only God can do. No, you, you, you what, what? I mean, he, you, he told him, listen, use this word in Jilia. That's the meaning for it. In them. So you because he had a plan to use it for the Arab measures. That's only God can do. I've, I've given you my points. It, it, so it's, it's up to you right now. But, but, but I think we made a big breakthrough today. The breakthrough is even when it comes to a very like clear logical argument being made the quran is still more important for you than a, than a common sense argument so my only point is like i said before you have two options actually it's funny let's say last time because we're yeah. on the camera all right so you said yeah. i know we tired of saying it but let's say you have a law so we have in the name one name single name of Allah. Allah. yep from Allah comes. Who's Allah? Ar Rahman, Ar Rahim. Yep. Very merciful and living and loving, and yep. also God is very and powerful the, and justice. And and these two, you know, main attributes, if you will, they come from Allah. Two Sharia. God want it to yep. make sure that two Sharia exist because this is God. So okay. To represent it in in the yep. mankind. But these things are also equal to God because they share the same nature as God. They are one name in the name of Allah, Rahman, Rahim. Perfect. And God, He never you put other attribute to Him. He we put only these two names. Great. That means this is not an attribute. This is a name. Okay, fine. One name. Fine. So it's two names, right? Now you're saying that from Rahman comes the Holy Spirit. Yes. Okay. Being God's very powerful and just. Yes. Very well. Now the Holy Spirit has to be equal to God because He comes from God and has the same nature as God. Ar Rahman, according to Quran, is God. Okay. We now Ar Rahim. You have said that it's, this... ar rahim is means just very mercy and loving. And so, this represents so, Jesus. Yeah, so now if God is only mercy and loving, when he wants to judge Hitler, he has to put him in heaven because I'm very mercy and loving. Incorrect. He's just too. 
if he's very, very messy, if Jesus is going to come to judge the world, so, being very messy and loving, and Hitler come to him, he must put him in heaven. Mm, I'm very messy. That's not how it works. Whereas the Holy Spirit, justice and powerful, he have to justice. justice. Wait, 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 wait. So, for example, if you're a very merciful father yeah. and your son is severely overweight, yeah. right? And, you know, uh, any, any more calories, any more weight, and he might die. Yeah. And he's like, Dad, I'm hungry. I want a cake. As a merciful father, are you going to give him a cake or say no? No more cakes for you. If he keep eating cake, you mean? Eating yes. Cakes, yep. yeah. He will die because he's too overweight. Right? Yeah. So if you as a father are merciful, he yeah. says, Dad, I want cake. He's, but going, he, to, he's going to die. Yeah, yeah well, well, no, no. He's, he, I'm, I'm hungry. I want cake. Yeah. But the more cake you keep giving him, the more likely it is that he'll die. Yeah. As a merciful father, are you going to say no cake or are you going to give him cake? As a... A merciful father. As... No, wait, sorry. Yeah. I'm a father. And you're merciful. Yeah. Your son is severely only, overweight. I'm only merciful? Yes. Only, only merciful? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why am I not being justice? I'm just saying, you're only merciful. Because he's my, he's my son. So I'm going to be fair. I will give him the good... Uh, I will give him the good... Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to give it to him. Oh, really? Perfect. So, even if you're merciful, you can still deprive somebody of something. So, even if God is merciful, yeah. he can still deprive Hitler of going to heaven because Hitler did not live his life in accordance with the tenets that would uh, grant him access into heaven. Being merciful doesn't mean that you just give. Being merciful can also mean that you restrict. Yeah, but you don't, you don't uh, yes, judge me. Yes. You don't... Uh, well, well, what, what did you say? Someone hit me, give him the other one. Whereas the Old Testament, that's, you hit me, I have the right to hit you no, back. No, 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 no. So different Sharia. Hold on a second, hold on a second. So that's, uh, that's, that's, that's different. Because the idea is that the Jews operated on a principle of an eye for an eye. Yeah. Whatever someone does to you, you do back to them. This is now, Sharia. Yeah, Jesus is on. saying that the perfect version of this would be to not retaliate when somebody is, for example, insulting you. For example, if you slap me, I'm not going to die. Right now, if you come to stab me, I might die. But slapping is an insult, and he gives two more examples. This is in Matthew 39. Uh, no, sorry, Matthew 5:39. He gives two examples of this. Right? Somebody slaps you, offer them the other cheek. Sorry, three examples. Somebody asks you to walk a mile, walk two miles with them. Somebody asks you for your cloak, give them your tunic. The idea is that show that you're a Christian with your actions, not that you can't defend yourself. Yeah, but Jesus died. He didn't defend himself. Because he came. Because he, he came to show there for complete mercy, forgiving. No, God is loving and mercy. He, Take he, my body. he didn't just come to die to show mercy. He came to die to restore our human nature. There's a lot more to it than just showing mercy. Yes, yeah, I agree. That's, of course, obviously yeah. a lot more. But he came to show that God, the Most High, is very merciful and loving. Whereas in a, in a, in a Judaism, as you know. They showed only that God is very powerful in justice. And that's why the Jew here, they try to think that we are... No, but can have a, it, in a, Judaism... A mankind and everything. But in, like in Judaism, God's very merciful as well. Haven't you read the Old Testament? I have read it, but I don't... I don't they, they deny Jesus. So, uh, yeah, no, no, no. So, two different topics here. In the Old Testament, yes, absolutely, you have things like, you know, God sending the, the, the plagues of Egypt. Right on the Egyptians. Yeah. You have things like him giving them victory over their enemies. The Bimalak, what he but, did under the yeah, mercy, but yeah. you also have mercy. A of lot of mercy. You will have you some have both. mercy. Some. I say. As I said, I, I say, I say more. Rahman is justice, powerful, and also a bit mercy. In the, fair, fair mercy. It's called fair mercy. In the Old Testament, you see way more acts of mercy from God than acts of vengeance. Way more. In the Old Testament. Yes. Like, give me an example. Okay, so for example, I, I keep telling you. So I, I want you to go and read the book of Judges. Right? Okay. So, what happens in Judges is like a continuous cycle. The people are worshipping gods. Yeah. Everything's good. Right? Then suddenly, some time goes past. 40 years, 80 years. Then they forget God. They forget. Because everything's been easy. Everything's been good. They win all their fights. They have enough food and water. Everything's fine. So, who needs God? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Then they become atheists. Then, they go even further and start worshipping other gods. Yeah. That are bad for them that are making them that do idolatry, um, sexual immorality, even in some cases burning their own kids as sacrifices, yes, yes, yes. right? Then God gives them over to their enemies. So an enemy comes, conquers them. 
and then they will enslave them in their own land for 40 years, 20 years. Because they're not following uh, the original. Yep. Yes. Then the people will cry out to God. Again, yeah. And then God, from his mercy, will raise a champion for them. The champion will go and defeat their enemies and everything will be good again for 40 years. And they forget. Become atheists. Go worship your idols. Again. Get conquered. Cry out to God. He has mercy on them. Defeat the enemies. Everything is good. They forget about God over and over and over and over and over again. And, and in, in Judges, there are 12 of these Judges, people who God has raised. So in, in, in a, a time period of a few hundred years, 12 times God raises somebody to go and help them because they forget about Him. So in that yeah. one book alone, you have way more mercy than you do vengeance. Do you think he was way more mercy than when God sent Jesus? God is always merciful. And so... Uh, uh, yes, he always merciful. Yeah. But we can see that clearly and a lot more when Jesus comes. In. So Jesus says, on, wait, on, on the cross, there is no greater act of love than giving your life for your own friends. So yes, yes. fine. I, I, I will say that in terms of a message for mankind, the most loving action that we can perceive of God is the death of Christ on the cross. Sure. Yes. That's why he didn't uh, defend himself. He just he gave out his life. It, so it, he says that the Son of Man, him, did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. But not the Son of Man. You know, I believe Son of Man is going to be the Holy Spirit. He's both. The Son of God and the Son of Man is both. The Son of Man is a figure from the book of Daniel who will come and, and be worshipped by, by the whole world. I will discuss Jesus. The Son of Man different than the Son of God. You call him Son of God. Go to Daniel 7. Wait, wait a second. And then you'll see. When Jesus come, yeah? he's the Word of God and he was empowered with the Holy Spirit. Part of, part of it. Not fully. But when he come back to judge the world, if Jesus is going to come up to the world, he will be either the Son of Man, the Holy Spirit, or Jesus himself, but will be empowered fully with the Holy Spirit. And then no one can... So, I don't, I don't agree. I don't agree with parts of... I don't agree with parts of that. But, yeah. but, but ultimately, the Son of Man, the Son of God, both titles that apply to Jesus. The Son of... Why Son of Man, Son of God? And then he so, said the Advocate and the Comfort that's going to come. Yep. And that, he said, that's my kingdom spirits. is not here in heaven. And we will no Agreed. longer see me. Yep. That's that, he's not going to come back. That, well, no, not now, but he will return. Because they asked him before he leaves, uh, a teacher, when will Israel be restored? And he said, of that, of that time and that hour, is not for you to know. So Israel can only be restored when the Messiah returns. As in accordance with the Old Testament. The Jews are waiting for the Messiah. Yeah, they so are. They think is the the one their Messiah is the one who's gonna be fully empowered with the Holy Spirit. The one I saw. I don't know exactly what they think about him. I've heard various different things about about what they think about him, but I'm not sure exactly so what the narrative Jesus is. Will be. But their Messiah empowered fully with the Holy Spirit, coming not sitting on a donkey, coming. He's gonna be coming in a cloud. And this is their Messiah. Their like, Messiah. that's what Daniel says, exactly. Yeah. And, and we say that, that that is talking about Jesus and not anything different. Okay, what's so the that, that's why the Son of Man can be applied to him and so can the Son of God. Because he's the Son of Man, sorry, what, what, what last thing? He's yeah. the Son of Man in the sense that he is the fulfillment of a prophecy from Daniel. Yeah. So that's how he's the Son of Man. He's the Son of God in that he came from the Father, like he says in John 8. So relationally to the Father. Huh? Sorry? My dude, you're lost, but we can talk later. Don't worry about it. So ultimately, when it comes to the Son of, of God, that comes from Him coming from the Father, like it says in John 8. Okay, last question. Finish. What's the difference between when Jesus comes sitting on a donkey, yeah, and when Jesus is going to come back sitting on a cloud and coming back? Um, sitting on a donkey here, we know that He was able to bring some people from this. He was able to do miracles. So, That's si why I call Him was empowered partly with the Holy Spirit. Because it is very, very powerful. Whereas when he come back, fully support with the Holy Spirit, he's coming to... He's coming to... Well, one God. He's coming yep. to save the world and he's coming to kill Lucifer. He got the full Holy Spirit in him. No one can put him on a cross. No one can uh, play with him. It's like God. Yeah, so the last portion, I agree with that, fine, that's fine. No one's going to prosecute him when he comes back. What's the difference? On the donkey, he is there to redeem. On the clouds, he's there to judge. 
close to what I believe on a donkey. He was partly supporting just to come to show that and God is merciful. Only God can redeem and only God can judge. Yes. So course. that means yeah, that Jesus yes. is God. Anyway. <laughs> I guess to say. Have a read of that gospel, brother. Yeah. It'll help you. It'll help you understand. God bless you.